When thinking of survivability in The Division 2, think of a pie. And that pie is made up of many slices. The largest slice is probably time to kill. The second largest slice is probably situational awareness. And then from there, it's player skill. And the last slices are additional layers of defense that you add onto your build. So if you're looking to play aggressively, run and gun out of cover and open world dynamic content, then a tank DPS build that is well balanced is what you're looking for. And that's what I'm gonna to provide to you today. Hit like if unique and effective builds are for you and comment tank DPS down below to support the channel. This is an assault rifle tank DPS build with amazing survivability, and it gives you everything that you need to play aggressively out of cover while taking damage from 360 degrees. It delivers serious spikes in damage. Let's walk through it real quickly, and then I'll tell you exactly what it does. So the primary weapon is going to be the chameleon, and what's cool about the chameleon is that it gives you all of the crits that you need on your build, especially crit chance. As you can see, mine's a level 12. I got assault rifle damage, health damage, crit chance, as the attribute and then adaptive instincts comes in three parts i mostly play into the first two so hitting 30 headshots grants 20 percent crit chance and then 50 percent crit damage and then 75 body shots gives you 90 percent weapon damage both of those last for 45 seconds so those are major deliveries okay so do not overlook that major deliveries and we're playing out of cover this thing doesn't have really good optimal range it sort of plays like an smg and that's sort of it is an assault rifle but i use it like an smg i play very close and personal with this thing and i like it much better than the dark winter with that 900 rpm and 50 in the mag and that 90 percent weapon damage you just really can't beat that and again it gives you all the crits that you need if we look at our build here and look at our stats i have my crit chance set up 45 percent so yeah i'm downplaying my crits because i know adaptive instincts is going to kick in and give me another 20 percent so technically that'll push us to 65 percent the cap is 60 so i have five percent here wasted but i don't have any places where i can take that off and then the crit damage shows 104 but we're going to get 50 percent more so we're at 155 percent crit damage which is pretty good so i have many layers of defense here but let's take a look at the offense first so for the chest piece i'm running the fenris which is giving us 10 percent assault rifle damage so i'm liking a nice base damage to offset some of those stacking things that we're doing i have a core attribute that's red i have crit chance crit damage a protection from elites mod we'll talk about those in a little bit and i'm running obliterate on the chest piece talent and obliterate gives us 25 percent total weapon damage and that lasts for five seconds but you can maintain it as long as you're shooting and that's a lot of that's a lot of damage very good chest piece very good for assault rifle builds and then from there i'm running the picaro's holster that's because i wanted an additional armor core while maintaining the 15 percent weapon damage core so it is giving me both a blue and a red which i like i have crit damage here and then of course it's giving us a little bit of skill haste which i'm not really using but it's it's helpful that's uh helping us push us to 1.4 million as you can see in total armor now for the mask i'm running the chill out mask this has weapon damage and crit damage on it and then i have protection double protection from elites if you don't don't have the chill out mask what i recommend you run actually is a grupo mask instead okay let's take a look at the backpack so we are playing out of cover we're running and gunning the memento is going to be really important for this build and one of the reasons is i'm looking for that three percent armor regen that it gives us but it's also giving us a red core and a blue core i'm looking for that and the skill tier is also helpful because we are utilizing the shield here for both offense and defensive reasons and we'll get into that in just a moment and so i have protection from elites here and we're definitely playing into the short-term buffs here they're very important more important than the long-term buffs we got five percent weapon damage buff for 10 seconds when we grab a trophy we can get 10 percent bonus armor per blue core and five percent per skill tier we got one of those if you take a look at a high level here we got four red cores so that means when we grab a trophy we're gonna get a spike of 20 percent weapon damage 20 percent that's not a little bit guys that's 20 percent on top of the 25 percent total weapon damage coming from obliterate and 90 percent weapon damage coming from the chameleon on top of our 150 percent crit damage so that's a ton and then we got another 30 percent weapon damage coming from the long-term buffs when we have 30 trophies stacked so this backpack is always delivering 50 percent weapon damage to us and usually more because we're stacking those trophies now let's look at a high level at the bonus 
bonus armor. So 10% for blue per blue core. We got three cores. So that means I'm getting 30% effective armor on kill. 30% armor on kill. You can look at bonus armor like armor on kill because it's delivering technically temporary armor on kill. That arm temporary armor lasts for 10 seconds. As long as you get a kill inside that 10 seconds, then you're gonna get another 30% bonus armor, right? So, and then you can stack that. So sometimes you get 30, 60, 90% bonus armor. It's 90% armor on kill that lasts for 10 seconds. And that's the idea. The idea is to keep chain killing, to play aggressively, to push on the enemies, and at least get one kill every 10 seconds and clear that control point as quickly as possible. That bonus armor is really important. It allows you to drop your shield and run faster from engagement to engagement. And then we got the skill efficiency. I won't talk much about that, but that's giving us 30% skill efficiency. That's going to help our uh, drone and our shield skill efficiency includes skill haste skill duration skill damage skill repair everything skill health so that's good too and we do want a strong shield and so armor is important here and so having the healer mass that's giving us five percent total armor is a little bit helpful because it's it's helping buff our shield a little bit there and so we'll talk about the shield in a moment and now i'm running the oh if i didn't say we're also getting when we have 30 full stacks we're getting three percent armor regen as a defensive attribute also that's a long-term barrel buff so three percent armor regen notice i don't have any other armor on kill on this build except for the armor regen and the bonus armor we're getting when we pick up a trophy my gloves are the bellstone gloves and i'm playing just into the armor regen here and i got this all red with crits so that's pretty cool you could also make it blue if you want more armor but i thought this was at a really good place when it comes to time to kill and the level of defense we're getting so the knee pads are emperor's guard knee pads that gives you 20 percent skill duration i'm running the deflector joan so that's really helpful for that it really is that plus the 30 percent skill efficiency gives us a total of 50 percent skill duration added to our deflector drone so that's a ton more survivability that's really decreasing our damage by around 25 percent the reason why i'm running this is for that one percent armor regen actually that pushes us to a total of five percent armor regen which is really good and then i got crit hit damage there if you don't have the emperor's guard so these are dark zone exclusives but you can also acquire them from named item caches so that's the place to farm them if you don't go into the dz is get named item caches one way to easily do that is to play countdown get your requisition points and then spend them on named item caches also by doing global events but for those of you that don't have the emperor's guard knee pads yet I, what i recommend you do is run a second piece of bellstone here okay and that's going to give you 10 percent armor on kill so it's going to give you more like an, a, a little spike of healing the other way you could do it is run two pieces of golem golem on your knees and golem on your mask but we'll talk about the regen and its synergy you can uh, run the gunner if you want to that's going to give you 10 percent armor on kill but firewall is so much more valuable especially on a tank dps build and that's because it's giving you access to the striker shield which is really unique and it's giving you uh more damage so as you can see damage bonus per enemy is at 13 percent per enemy standing in front of me and many times we have more than one enemy standing in front of us that really makes you stronger it's scaling damage and there's nothing in this game that does that there's nothing in this game that does that so that's a really good thing to add to any of your builds but especially a tank dps build also it gives you some better uh mods for your shield too so you can have a stronger shield so like a, a strong active regeneration so the shield health is at about 3.3 million this is a tier 4 shield and then we got 30 percent skill efficiency powering it up it can break but you know it's it's sort of rare remember to drop your shield absorb some of that damage to your body because you have the bonus armor to do that okay and every time you get a kill you get more bonus armor use the bonus armor use it drop your shield run faster to get close to the enemy so that they're inside range of your shield and then pop your shield uh pick up that extra damage from it and then burn the enemies grab another trophy for 30 percent more bonus armor that's how this is working and that remember when you grab that trophy it's also an additional 20 percent weapon damage plus the shield damage bonus not to mention what the chameleon's dishing out so you're getting big spikes of survivability huge spikes of survivability guys the chameleon is delivering 90 percent weapon damage spikes 50 percent crit damage spikes those are big spikes of survivability remember time to kill is the biggest wedge of survivability in that pie big spikes of survivability from that and then again the trophies are big spikes of survivability and then the shield another big spike of survivability that's why this build really works works great and then the defender drone is awesome this allows you to take damage to the back but what it's really doing and this is a tier one defender drone it's got a really nice duration on it and it good when you get trophies it makes that duration last even longer and then the skill haste so you really got a lot of skill 
skill haste you technically have 40 percent skill haste on this build 10 percent is coming from this holster and then 30 percent is coming from the skill efficiency from the long-term buff here and so the skill so this thing is pretty much always there for you and what's really cool about it is that it's uh the damage reduction it's re reducing damage by 26 percent and so that what that's doing is making your bonus armor last longer it gives you more confidence to drop that shield so that you can run across terrain to get to the next engagement while taking some damage and that's going to diminish the damage as well as uh, the bonus armor protecting your real armor that's what's going on here and that's why this build really 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 works the secondary weapons on this i'm not really using it you don't want to because when you switch out of the chameleon you'll lose your stacks so one of the reasons why this build really worked is it's built off of a layered system of protection what i call invisi shield the point of invisi shield is to protect you from all angles it protects your backside and your front side so you have the hard shield of course but what we have is the deflector and the bonus armor protecting your armor and so that's why we don't actually need armor on kill so we have five percent armor regen which is perfect underneath that bonus armor so that 30 percent bonus armor is active long enough to allow the five percent armor regen to get you all the way to where you need to be and the bonus armor fills in the gaps from there i mentioned we have protection from elites so we have 52 percent total protection from elites that's perfect for heroic but then we have the 26 percent damage reduction so all together we're at 78 percent we're almost at max protection so we're at almost at 80 percent protection when we're encountering elites and non-elites were protected by the 26 percent so that's protecting the bonus armor protection from elites makes bonus armor last longer and so it's really amazing and then you have your shield on top of that so they have to chew through your shield they have to chew through the defender drone they have to chew through your protection from elites and chew through your bonus armor before they get to your actual armor now again you're not invincible you have to keep moving you have to be shooting back hey banditos check out this legendary dps build follow me